Hi, good evening. Hi, Nestor. Hi, Nestor. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. How are good evening. you? Fine, thanks. And you? Very well, thank you. Thank you very much. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, buenas noches. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. How about you? I'm very well, Jacqueline. Thank you for asking. Thank you very much. Hi, Oscar, Jorge, and Ana Beatriz. Hi, teacher. Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? A great teacher. Oh, nice. It's good to know. I like that. I like when my students say I'm great. Okay, that means good attitude, good feelings. Okay, nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Vamos a esperar los demás que ahorita se están conectando. They are connected. Good no. ¿Cómo se dice, teacher? Good evening. Good evening. No, es good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. You're driving? Yes, I. Good evening. Hello. Yes. Oh, my God. Vas a irte bien que ahorita entonces. ¿Ya? Ya casi llego a la casa. Ah, ok, perfecto. Sí. En lo que pasa la sentencia. So I will pass the attendance right now. So please, I'm here or present? Say, I'm here or present? Digan, I'm here or present, right? Yeah. Okay, Ana Gain is not connected. I'm here. Oh, okay, thank you. Sorry. Okay. Ana Beatriz? Present. ¿Qué se me ha hecho Ana Gain las últimas clases? Bueno, la Ay, tuve una emergencia, tuve una emergencia familiar y ya no pude, ah, okay. pero aquí estoy. Yeah, that's the most important. Carlos David. Están conectados, alright. Ember. Ember. I'm here, teacher. Ya casi lleva a la casa. Okay, thank you. Ember. Están conectados. Hazel Saray. I'm here. Here. Jacqueline is here. I'm here. here. Jessica. Oh, Jessica, Jessica, que se nos ha hecho. Jessica se nos ha dado una buena perdida. Jorge Eduardo. Jorge. Oh, David is connected in this moment. David just connected ahorita. Le voy a poner aquí a la Okay, let's see. Jorge, no, right? Juan Carlos. I hear. Good. Soy la Denise. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you, Maria Elena. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, uh, good evening. You listen for a minute. Okay. Mauricio. Mauricio. Teacher. Yeah. Good evening. Uh, nuevamente estoy, todavía no he llegado a mi casa, sigo trabajando, me tienen como esclavo ahí, don Juan Riva. Este, uh, me conecto más noche. Big liar. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, Mauricio Antonio, not connected, right? Nelson? Hello, good evening. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Oscar Armulfo. Present. Nestor. I'm here. Again, Roxana. I'm here. Okay. New hair color. Nuevo color de cabello, Roxana, ahora que no lo había visto. Wendy yeah. Marani. <laughs> new teacher. <laughs> okay, new. Wendy Marani. He's not connected. All right. 
Jacqueline Gloria Brand. Present. Okay, thank you. Jocelyn Joanna. Not connected. All right. Roberto Antonio nunca se conoce. Present. Okay, sorry, Jocelyn. I'm sorry. Okay, let's see. Jessenia Marisol. Yes, Sunny and Marisol. She's not connected yet. All right, very good. So thank you very much. Muy bien. Eh, solo antes de iniciar para ya, no, para ya no hacer más intervenciones. To not do more, or with the idea of not doing more interruptions. That's one question. Plataforma. Plataforma, plataforma, plataforma. Hay muchos que se me están quedando con la plataforma. Bueno, no muchos, algunos. Hay algunos que no me están completando la plataforma. Y es importante recalcar que el trabajo de la plataforma, más la asistencia, más la encuesta de satisfacción, son importantes para que ustedes puedan pasar al siguiente nivel. ¿Ok? Ahorita vamos iniciando. Tenemos primera semana. Pero hay algunos que... Bueno, primero algunos que no completaron el trabajo de la plataforma. Y les he venido recalcando toda la semana de que no dejemos que se nos acumule. No dejemos que se nos acumule porque a veces el sábado o el domingo ya no podemos y ya no podemos completar lo que, lo que, lo que debemos completar de la plataforma. Entonces lo ideal es irlo haciendo diariamente. Diariamente para que así el viernes ya esté listo. Si, si es posible, yo el viernes después de que terminamos, yo puedo hacer mi reporte. O el sábado temprano yo puedo hacer mi reporte, ¿ok? Así que por favor, otra vez, les suplico que hagan trabajo de plataforma. Otra cosa. Eh, también con esto de la, de, la, de la plataforma, hay un detalle. Hay algunos que, es, por ejemplo, en una actividad solamente tienen 45% en una tarea de sem semanal, sumando toda la semana, y así lo dejan. Va, escuchen, es importante que sepan esto. Yo creo que ya lo saben, pero quizás repetirlo. Respecto a la... Respecto a la plataforma, eh, pueden repetir las actividades cuantas veces quieran. Si se sacaron 20 en la primera vez, en el primer intento, pueden hacerlo otra vez y otra vez y otra vez y las veces que quieran pueden hacerlo hasta que saquen el 100%. ¿okay? Así que por favor, los que no se han puesto al día, tienen que ponerse al día. Please, ¿okay? Los que no han hecho ninguna, eh, ninguna tarea de la semana 1 deben ponerse al día. ¿Ok? No voy a decir nombres, no se preocupen, pero sí es importante que se pongan al día, por favor, ¿ok? Si o alguien tiene algún problema con usuario aquí. ¿Alguien que tenga problemas con usuario? No hay nadie que tenga problemas con usuario, ¿no? ¿Todo bien? Everything is okay. Muy bien, entonces podemos ponernos al día, ¿ok? Así que por favor, ahora, bueno, mañana revisaré otra vez a ver si ya se han puesto al día los que están un poquito retrasados, ok? Muy bien, ¿tienen alguna pregunta? Do you have any question about the platform, about the attendance, acerca de la plataforma, de la asistencia? ¿No? Bueno, y aquí creo que todos ya conocemos los reglamentos de la asistencia, ¿verdad? Todos ya sabemos de que cada minuto cuenta. De que si yo me conecto a las 8 y 7, esos 7 minutos ya me restan en asistencia. De que si yo me conecto a las 8 o 3, esos 3 minutos ya me van restando en asistencia, ¿ok? ¿Por qué? Porque esto lo hace automáticamente Zoom. Zoom le registra cuánto tiempo estuvieron conectados, ¿ok? Así que por favor conectarse a tiempo. Get connected on time, please. Ok, very good. So, any questions before we start? Preguntas antes de que iniciemos. Oh, Jocelyn. Jocelyn, do you have any question? Una pregunta, teacher. Sí, adelante. Yes. Eh, bueno, una pregunta. Digamos de que, por ejemplo, este, digamos que estuve conectada a la clase, un rato de la clase, digamos que 30 minutos. Uh -huh. Y de repente se me fue la señal, lo que sé yo, se me cayó el teléfono, cualquier cosa. Y me salí de la, de, de, de la aplicación, ¿verdad? De Zoom. Uh -huh. Y tuve que volver a iniciar. Ahí arriba yo me he dado cuenta que... Eh, lleva ¿verdad? el tiempo, contando el tiempo que yo estoy conectada entonces cuando pasa eso es un, eh, me, me hace un nuevo conteo eh, esos 
conteo lo va sumando este Insafor o sí solo solo pierde solo pierde los minutos que, que la sacó que se, si fueron dos minutos que se desconectó por ejemplo esos diez, esos dos minutos sí los pierde totalmente sí Ok, gracias. Ok, ok, no problem. Sí, por, por eso les digo, es que, cada, es que aquí cuenta minutos conectados. Ok, minutos conectados. Y a veces son cosas que no están en nuestras manos también, ¿verdad? Que me falló el internet un día o que un día estaba lloviendo. Entonces, por eso la recomendación siempre es que de entrada, las primeras semanas no estén faltando mucho. Porque si tienen algún problema más adelante, eso no les va a afectar. Pero imagínense que no se conectan al principio y al final se empiezan a querer conectar y tienen algún problema y tal vez por una clase que llovió este, se quedan por la asistencia, o sea, no sería justo. Pero por eso es que debemos iniciar con todo al principio con asistencia, ¿ok? Tratar de no faltar. Lo ideal es que estemos el 100%, ¿verdad? De, las, de, de, de los días. Pero al más no poder, digamos, al final si tuvieron algún contratiempo, algún contratiempo alguna emergencia, Ahí compensa, ¿ok? Porque han estado conectados todos los días. Aunque tuve esa emergencia, no me afecta. Porque ya estuve, ya, ya tengo mucha asistencia, ¿ok? Así que no sé si hay alguna otra duda. Any other doubt? Sí, adelante, Abigail. Con respecto a los minutos que contaban, dijo, desde el momento que entramos a la plataforma. No sé si le ha pasado a alguien más, pero por lo menos a mí me cuesta ingresar porque siempre dice que está el anfitrión en otra sala, no sé, bueno, así. Abigail, en este, en este caso los pone como en espera, ¿verdad? De que el anfitrión está en una reunión, ¿sí? Lo bueno. que pasa es que a mí me ha salado, entonces tengo que esperar por lo menos unos cinco minutos y después vuelvo a intentar y ya me deja entrar. Ok, bueno, en este caso no se impacienten porque eh, yo estoy en una clase antes que esta, de 7 a 8. Por eso es que no es, o sea, empe, empecé hace como tres semanas. Si recuerdan, antes de que, de, 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 de que esto pasara, siempre estaba conectado unos cinco o cuatro minutos antes de las ocho, ¿verdad? Pero esta vez, como la, esa clase termina exactamente a las ocho, a veces me paso dos minutos, tengo que cerrar y volver a, a, y entrar, a entrar a la clase de ustedes. Por eso es que, por eso es que los, los tienen en espera, porque yo no he empezado la, la reunión en este caso. Ajá. Sí, pero no, no sean impacientes, no cierren, ¿ok? Esperen ahí pacientemente y vuelvan a intentar para que no, para, para, no, no, no se queden ahí un momento porque ya no entré, ya no, ya no voy a intentar otra vez. No, quédense pendientes siempre de entrar para que no pierdan minutos, ¿ok? Muy bien. Eh, ¿Alguna otra pregunta? ¿Any other question? No? Ok. Ok, very good. Provecho a los que están comiendo ahorita. Buen apetito. Ok, very good. So, uh, oh, Mauricio. O está diciendo de nada. <laughs> o está diciendo gracias, perdón. Thank you. All right, very good. So, um, so let's start today's class. Empecemos la clase de hoy. Let's start today's class. But to start today's class, I want you, you, not me, I want you to tell me what we started last week. ¿Qué estudiamos la semana pasada? What did we study last week? Let's make a flashback. What did you study last week? ¿Qué estudiaron la semana pasada? What did you study last week? I don't remember. Can you help me, please? ¿Pueden ayudarme? Can you help me, please? El do y el das. El do y el das. The verb have and has. Have and has. Okay, yeah, just before we go to have and has, antes de que vayamos al have y el has. Do and does. Um, do and does. We use do and does for questions or for sentences? Um, for questions. For questions, exactly. For questions yeah. like, uh, do you, okay, do you check merchandise in the morning? Good. Now, another question for you. Uh, we use the pronoun do for which pronouns? I mean, we use, sorry, the auxiliary do for which pronouns? We use the auxiliary do for which pronouns? Para yes. cuáles pronombres? For, for which pronouns? Para cuáles pronombres? Ah. He, she. Do. Do. I, oh, they. I, 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 you, we, 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 you, you, and they. Okay, for the, for the pronouns, I, you, we, and, and they. 
Okay? They. And they, exactly. Or, or plural subjects, or sujetos en plural. Students, for example, do the students, do the, the employees in plural, right? Do the employees, very good. Now, for which pronouns do we use the auxiliary does? He, she, it. He, she, and? He, she. He, she, it. and it. He, it. she, and it. That's right. For example, does he check merchandise in the morning? Does she check email at night? Does it work? For example, the computer. Does the computer work? Does it work? Yeah. Or maybe he or she can be substituted. Or tal vez el he el she pueden ser sustituidos por un nombre, okay? For example, does Oscar attend classes at night? Does Oscar? Or does Roxana, does Roxana uh, listen to the teacher carefully? Does Roxana, okay? El he y el she pueden ser sustituidos por un nombre de un, ya sea de un chico o de una chica, okay? In this case. Okay, very good. Uh, what else did we study? ¿Qué más estudiamos? What else did we study? Only that? Or we studied something else? How many? How much? Exactly, how Rosana. Many. Thank you. And Edgar, okay? We studied how many and how much. So question for you. Is how many for plural or singular? Singular. How many? Is how many for plural or singular? Plural. 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 It's for plural. Okay. It's, it's for plural. Yeah. How many? For example, for example, for example, how many notebooks? Plural. How many notebooks do you have? How many what? How many emails did you receive every day? I mean, do you receive every day? How many emails? Plural, right? Now let's see how much. Is how much for plural or for singular? Singular. Singular. Countable or uncountable? Contables or no contables? Countable or uncountable? Countable. Countable. Uncountable. Uncountable, exactly. Uncountable. No, no quantificables or no contables, decimos, right? Yeah? Very good. For example, how much money? El money no se puede contar en general, right? How much money do they pay? How much money do they pay at Siman? How much money do they pay at, and then you say a company, right? Or how much? How much metal, metal, el metal dijimos que era no contable, how much metal do you need for the house? Or how much Paper. How much paper does the printer need? Okay, yeah. So how much is para no contables? How many para contables and plural? So did we study something else? Estudiamos algo más? Did we study something else? No? Or just that? Solo eso. Just that. Para uh, dar respuesta, ocupamos a lot of, a little, many, a few. Exactly, to give answers, para dar preguntas a la pregunta con how many and how much, para dar respuestas, sorry. So we answer with a little or a lot of, yeah, or a few or a lot of para los contables. For example, how much paper do you need for the printer? How much paper do you need for the printer? And then you say, I need a lot of paper or I need a little paper, yeah, or... How many books do you have in your house? How many books do you have in your house? You can say, I have a few books. Tengo pocos libros. Or I have a lot of books. Tengo muchos libros. I have a lot of books. Okay, thank you very much. So anything else? Algo más? Anything else? Have y has. Have and has, exactly. So, have and has. What is the difference between have and has. What is the difference? Tercera persona. For have or has? We have. Has. We has. Tercera persona. 
Okay, the difference. La primera. Is... Okay, okay, so. Creo que en vez de decir, It's Juan Carlos, en, en, vez de que, en vez de que digamos primera, tercera, primera persona plural, digamos mejor los pronombres con los que usamos el have y el has. Can you help me please, Juan Carlos? Has. I have, you have, and she has, he has, and it has. Very good. Thank you. So for he, she, it, que siempre nos meten a problemas estos tres pronombres porque cambian los verbos auxiliares y los verbos principales les ponemos ese, ok, bla, bla, bla. Okay, so for he, she, it, you say has. He has a car. She has a, a computer. It has anything, right? Good. And for have, y para el have? Alguien más? Anybody else? Para el have, for have? I, we, they. I, we, they, you. Okay, I have, you have, they have, and we have very good is there a difference in meaning between have and has hay alguna diferencia en significado entre have y has is there a difference in meaning no no, no right they are the same quieren decir lo mismo tener they are the same very good algo más que hayamos estudiado es solo para refrescar nada más y que no se nos olvide It's just to remember Y el uso es en, eh, sim, en positive, no, ¿cómo es? Simple present, positive. Simple present, positive. The letter S, right? Esa letra S que le ponemos al verbo. She checks email every day. He goes. Esa ES en el verbo go, a los verbos que terminan con O les ponemos S. She goes to work from Monday to Friday. Or she does. Some activities every day. Yeah. O si termina en Y, precedida por una consonante, studies. Le quitamos la Y y le ponemos IES. That's important. Okay. For example, she studies English from Monday to Friday. He carries boxes to, to the other room, for example. He carries. All right. Very good. So anything else? Algo más? Anything else? We had a lot of information last week. Tuvimos mucha información la semana pasada. We had a lot of information last week. Very good. So listen. There's one thing we didn't study the last week. Hay algo que no estudiamos la semana pasada. There's one thing we didn't study the last week. And it is, yes, and it is this. We didn't study um, the negative, all right? And for the negative, we use don't, and we use doesn't, okay? We use don't and doesn't. For don't, I use I, you, we, and, and they, okay? I don't, for example, I don't check email every day. I don't check email every day. Or you, you, you don't check merchandise in the morning. Or we, we don't, um, we don't have meetings at night. For example, we don't have meetings at night or day. They don't visit clients on Sunday. They don't visit, visit clients on Sunday. Ahora vamos al he a, a, a dozen. He, she, and, and it. El he, el she, el it llevan dozen. Dozen in negative, right? For the negative, para el negativo. Example, he doesn't check email in the morning. He doesn't check email in the morning. Or she, she doesn't go to, to work on Sunday. She doesn't go to work on Sunday or it doesn't, okay? Yeah, so I don't, you don't, we don't, they don't. He doesn't, she doesn't, it doesn't. Do you have any question about this? Alguna pregunta? Do you have any question about this? No? No, no questions? 
Okay, listen. In this moment, we will play a game. Vamos a jugar un juego. We will play a game. But for the game, you need to write six sentences. Repeating. For the game, you need to write six sentences. Para el juego deben escribir seis oraciones. So listen. Four sentences must be true. Cuatro de sus oraciones deben ser verdad, uh, falsas, perdón. Yes, cuatro de sus oraciones deben ser falsas, ¿ok? And two, y dos de esas seis oraciones deben ser verdaderos, verdaderas, perdón. I repeat. Four false sentences, cuatro oraciones falsas, four false sentences, and two true sentences, y dos oraciones verdaderas acerca de ustedes. Yes, or, or, or acerca de sus compañeros de trabajo, or about your colleagues. For example, imagine, guess this sentence, please. Guess if my sentence is true or false. Adivinen si mi oración es falsa o verdadera. I check email every day. I check email every day. False. False, false, is false, es falsa, ya tengo una. ¿Cuántas falsas son? Four, right? Four false ones. Let me tell you another one. Le voy a decir otra. I give English classes every day. I give English classes every day. It's true. It's true, true. so I have one true. All right, tengo una verdadera, so. Pero sus compañeros no deben saber, your classmates don't have to know. Two true and four false. Dos falsas, dos verdaderas y cuatro falsas. Pueden escribir oraciones negativas también. For example, you can say, my co-worker Ember, my co-worker Ember, mi compañero de trabajo Ember, my co-worker Ember doesn't, doesn't check merchandise on Monday. Y, de, y luego los demás van a adivinar if it's true or false, si esa es verdadera o es falsa, ¿ok? So, is it clear? ¿Está claro? Is it clear? So let's write. Vamos a escribir entonces. Let's write sentences. Vamos a escribir oraciones. Can be positive or negative. Pueden ir en positivo o en negativo. Ok. They can be positive or negative. So let's work. Trabajemos entonces. Let's work. A uh, just a reminder, solo un recordatorio para la sesión para for, for the private session today at 10, para la sesión privada a las 10 tenemos a Hazel hoy. Hazel and tomorrow we have Jacqueline, okay? Y mañana tenemos a Jacqueline y Seth. So Hazel at 10 today, a las 10 hoy, at 10 today, all right? When you finish, please raise your hand. Cuando terminan, levanta la manita siempre. Raise your hand when you finish, please. Please.
Just remember, four sentences have to be false and two sentences have to be true, okay? Two true sentences, sentences and four false sentences. Thank you, Mauricio. I can see you finished. Thank you very much. Thank you, Roxana. Okay, I'll give you two more minutes. Dos minutos más. I'll give you two more minutes to finish, okay? Two more minutes to finish, please. Okay, uh, now let's see. The, the instruction is the following. The instruction is the following. So we will go to breakout rooms in groups. Okay, we will make groups in breakout rooms. And the idea is that you share your sentences with your teammates. Okay, la idea es que compartan sus oraciones con sus compañeros de equipo. <clears throat> But don't tell them 
which sentence is true and which sentence is false. No le digan cuál es la verdadera y cuál es la falsa, ¿ok? The idea is that your classmates guess. Yes, la idea es que sus compañeros adivinen. For example, they will say, oh, false. True, that's true. That is true, that is false, ¿ok? That's true or that is false, ¿ok? So you will guess the true or false sentences. Ustedes adivinarán. Yeah? So please take turns. Tomen turnos para decir sus oraciones. Take turns. Okay? So clear? Está claro qué vamos a hacer? Is it clear what you have to do? Yeah? Okay. Let's go to breakout rooms. Si no han terminado, vayan con las oraciones que tienen. Go with the sentences you have. Okay? Let's go. Vamos entonces. Let's go. Sí, porque yo solo, bueno, me voy a quedar con las dos que tengo y ahí ustedes compartanme las otras entonces, porque eso solo dice dos y dos. ¿Cuántos habemos en cada grupo? Hello. Habemos Hola. cinco. Somos cinco. Cinco, lo que me está fallando. Somos Una cinco. cada uno, si quieres. Bueno, demos una cada uno, pues, ¿verdad? Voy yo con la mía y este me dicen si es verdadera o es falsa. Eh, I go to a school, have one in the morning. It's false. It's false. Okay. It's false. Repeat. Repeat. Eh, I go to a school at one in the morning. It's Miss false. false, Mr. Nelson. There is that it's false. ¿Qué dicen ustedes? ¿Están de acuerdo con lo que dice su compañero? ¿Es falsa o verdadera? False. False, okay. Vaya, hoy que diga uno Juan Carlos. Okay. Yo digo que la diga toda mejor, Nelson, y se las adivinamos. <risa> no, no sé si va. Ya, que es, ya me queda adivinarla. En Bersky. Ok, le voy a hacer la otra. Ajá. Diga, Juan Carlos. Diga la suya. Va a ser cada uno, vaya. Embers give a candy every day. Is. Gives. That is. Candies. Is. Every day. That is. False. Ok. And I give check email every day. I, perdón, I check email every day. That is true. Okay. That's good. No, 
Mauricio, ¿qué dice Nelson? Hola, ¿quién sigue? Eh, Mauricio. Bueno, el otro compañero. Okay. Okay, okay. Mauricio. Yo creo que tengo problemas de... Ahora, corta, ¿alguien más? Bastante. I don't like the pusas. Hey, it's, it's false. Es falso. Ya dije de ser salvadoreño. Es falso. <laughs> I, I study English. Yes, it's true. English. It too is easy. true. Too easy. <laughs> Muy fácil, too easy. I got teacher escuchando uh, tell too easy. I can I can speak <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> That, yeah. Okay. Okay. Ahora y automáticamente escucho música y yo bailo. Ah, <laughs> no activa profesionalmente, pero sí. <laughs> Okay. okay. Who is the next? Okay. I uh, um I have green eyes. Is true or false? Do you repeat this? Ah, eso que vas a repetir. I have green. Es verde, verdad. Es como se pronuncia, si no green. AIDS. AIDS. Verde es green. Ok. I have green AIDS. Ah, ok. Ah, eh, no sé, no se, le ve, no se le ve muy bien. Yo diría que es <risa> falso. <risa> Yo digo que es false. Es false. False, false. Sí, false. false. <risa> yes. <risa> Está muy buena. La buena porque costó entenderle ahí, porque cabal no. Teacher, tengo una duda dudosa. Tell me. Si yo quiero decir que yo llego tarde. A la hora de entrar en mi trabajo sería I read late at I read late Ay, como había puesto pero me quedé me trabé aquí At work in the morning you, Maybe you can say I arrive to work late I arrive to work late Ay, permítame I arrive to work Late. Late. Exactly. Okay. Bye. Ah, pues yo ya dije mis seis. ¿Quién va? Who is the next? No me creen que tenga que decir, ay, ¿qué puse? Ay, ya lo perdí, ya no sé dónde lo puse. Ah, I walk, así pudiera ser, I walk every day in the morning. Aunque me tarde 10 minutos de donde me bajo a donde está mi trabajo, no es tan inmediato. I didn't get it. No sé si se está trabando mi internet, pero no se quedan congelados. Creo que es el suyo, Jacqueline. Es que no. Cuesta escucharlos y se queda como congelada la pantalla. No, que si yo le estaba consultando, que si estaría bien que era I, I walk. Eh, que yo camino todos los días en la mañana. I walk every day in the morning. O solo I walk. No, it's okay. It's okay. I walk in the morning every day. It's okay. I walk right. in the morning every day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ahora, Edgar. 
Okay. Uh, I doesn't run every day. Repeat, please. I doesn't room every day. Sería I don't. Yeah. Ajá. Sí, don't, perdón. I don't room every day. I don't room. I don't classroom, tal vez. Run, run. It's okay. Run, ah. run, like run. Correr. Mm -hmm. Round. Yeah. It's false. It's false. <laughs> yes. Muy bien, Jackie. <laughs> uh, we we don't enter the the meeting. I don't understand. We don't enter the meeting. 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 Yes. We don't. We don't. We don't. See. Sí. Repeat. Oh. We don't enter the meeting. It's true. Mal. Creo, no sé si es correcto que no. ¿Qué era lo último que había dicho? Reunión. Es que se está. Mm. Acá está lloviendo un poco, no sé si eso interfiere un poco también. Casi no entiendo, casi se escucha cortado y pausado. Creo que sería, we don't have a meeting, ¿verdad? Sería, yo haría. We don't have a meeting. Nosotros no tenemos, o nosotros no tenemos una reunión. No, ellos no entran a una reunión. Es que we nosotros de... <laughs> ah, excuse me. Sí, sí. They don't have a meeting, así. Pero es. Nosotros no entramos a la reunión. Sí, me comí how entonces. ¿Alguna palabra? Teacher, what do you say Coca-Cola in English? Coke. Coke. Only Coke. 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 <laughs> yeah, Coke. You say Coke. You better say soda. <laughs> Mejor digan soda. 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 Uh -huh. Soda. Coke. Ah, porque Coke se puede malinterpretar. You can misunderstand it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yes, Arnulfo. You got it. <laughs> sí, sí, sí. No, no. Soda, soda. Tal you better say soda. Uh -huh. Soda. Soda. Uh -huh. Soda. Soda. Mm -hmm. okay. What is soda, teacher? Soda. Soda. Coca-Cola. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Soda is general. It can be any, any taste. Puede ser cualquier sabor. Can be any taste. Uh -huh. Pero la más común, Coca-Cola. <ríe> sí, lo que yo les digo es que Coke se puede malinterpretar. Coke, como cocaína. Mm. Como sí, cocaína. sí. Ajá. Ya. Yeah. Ah, pero cocaína es distinto. Cocaína ya. Ah, pero algunos dicen Coke para referirse a la cocaína también. <ríe> that's why, Ajá. por eso. Ya, yeah. that's why. Ok. Quiero ver. Allá en la Jueves Sunday. No, oh, no creo que se reúnan los domingos. Eh, que yo, yo escuché Monday, por eso. 
Ah. Que se me, el, el internet me salió así como medio cortado y solo tipo monte y algo así. Ah, okay. eso, pues, no, pues, era, era Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. Yes. Tengo otra, otra que quiere que la adivinemos. La diga, ahí le faltó una. Ahorita. Sí, ya, ya, ya. Solo la consulta, solo si, si quisiera construir la frase, la, la, la oración, por ejemplo, yo llevo a mi hija al colegio. I, I take. I take, I take my daughter to, to, to school. I take my daughter to a school. Hola, hola. Hello. I take my daughter to a school. Gracias. Okay. A mí creo que nos falta una, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, I can drive a motorcycle. Uh, horse. Horse. It's true. I can drive motorcycle and drive car. Only car, you don't drive motorcycle? What? You don't drive motorcycle? No puede, no puede conducir una bicicleta. No, porque yo no puedo ser pendiente. Yo no vi quiénes estaban ahí. No ahí estaban sentados. Se le trabó el internet. He doesn't have connection, I think. He doesn't have internet okay. connection. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, so um, uh, did you finish? Terminaron? Did you finish or you didn't finish? No, no, no we I'm... want to play. <laughs> you, 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 need, you wanted more time. Quería más tiempo. You wanted more time. I'm sorry. For, for, uh, for, for the next game, I will give you more time, okay? Para el siguiente juego le voy a dar más tiempo. I will give you more time. I promise. Pinky promise, okay? Pinky promise. Pinky promise, all right? Y las pinky promises se respetan. Pinky promise, all right? Good. Uh, so let, let's, let's carry on. So uh, it's almost nine. Casi son las nueve, así que le voy a pasar asistencia de un solo. Okay, I will pass you the attendance. So say, say I'm here or present, okay? Ana Abigail. I'm here. Good. Ana Beatriz. Present. Carlos David. Present. Edgar Alexander. I'm here. Amber. Yeah. Jacqueline. Oh, Hazel, sorry. Hazel, sorry. I'm here. Okay, Jacqueline, Lisa. I'm here. Jessica Lourdes, not connected, right? I'm here. Oh, Jessica, aquí está. Oh my God, it's good to see you. <laughs> ya, me había ya me había acostumbrado a decir not connected. I'm sorry, Jessica, lo siento. I'm sorry. No problem, thank you. I'm sorry. Oh, es bueno verla, Jessica. It's good to see Thank you. you teacher. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. Uh, Jorge Eduardo. I'm here. Juan Carlos. I'm here, I'm here. Eunice. I'm here. Maria Elena. I'm here. Mauricio. Present. Nestor. Present. Oscar. Present. Let me see who's next. Roxana. I'm here, teacher. Oscar dijo present, ¿verdad? Teacher. A, a Nelson, teacher, no I'm here. Nelson, a Nelson, no le. Nelson. A mí no me habló. Sí, sí, ahorita. Nelson. I'm here, teacher. Good. Thank you. I'm sorry. 
Natalie. <laughs> teacher. Hello. I'm here, teacher. Hello. I'm here. I'm here, teacher. Okay. <laughs> okay. Dale pues aquí. I put it already. Jacqueline Gloria. Present. Jocelyn. Jocelyn. I'm here, teacher. Yeah. Roberto Antonio. All right. And Yesenia Marisol. Present teacher. Oh oh, yeah. oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh my God, es primera vez que les paso asistencia y todos están conectados. It's the first time. Let me see here, yeah, es primera vez. Okay, very good, excelente. I like that, me gusta eso. I, I really like that. All right, so um, to continue with, antes de, before you go to the break, we will do one more activity, okay? So we have one more activity for this part. So in this activity, I have, uh, let me see here. Oh, it's, let, let me look for it. In this activity, I have some questions, okay? Let me see, hold on, espera un momento, hold on a second here. Okay, so uh, for this part, I have two questions, okay? The questions are on page 19, it's in la página 19, they're on page 19, okay? Hold on a second, Deme un momento. Hold on a second. Okay, so uh, the two questions are, the two questions are these. How often do you check your email at work? Repeating the question. How often do you check your email at work? That's question number one. How often do you check your email at work? Second question, how often do you attend meetings? What is how often? Guess how often? What is how often? ¿Cuánto tiempo? How often? ¿Qué tan a menudo? ¿Qué tan a menudo? a menudo? Exactly. ¿Qué tan a menudo? ¿O con qué frecuencia? How often? How often? So in the answers, what can you say? ¿Qué pueden decir en respuestas? What can you say in the answers? I check. I check every day. Ah, you can say every. every, day. every day. You can say every day. You can say once. A, una vez a, once a week, for example, once a month, or maybe never, you can say, nunca, never, right? Or you can say twice, dos veces, twice, dos veces a la semana, twice a week, okay? So you can say every day, once a week, twice a week, or never, twice a week, dos veces a la semana. Every day, todos los días. Once a week, una vez a la semana, never, nunca, okay? So the questions are, how often do you check your email at work and how often do you attend meetings? Con qué frecuencia eh, van a reuniones o tienen reuniones? How often do you attend meetings? Okay, two questions, dos preguntas. Okay. All right, let's see, Edgar. How often do you check email at work? The microphone, Edgar, the microphone. Yes, How often? Every, day. every day. Okay, let's see. How often do you attend meetings? Forever. <laughs> you can say, maybe you can say forever. Maybe you can say always. Siempre, always. 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 Very good. Thank you, Edgar. Okay, let's see. Okay. Maria Elena. Maria Elena. How often um, do you check email at work? Many times in the day. Oh, my God. All right. And how often do you attend meetings? Mm, two or three for a week. Okay. Three times a week, you can say. Times three times, three times a week. A week. Very good, thank you very much, Maria. Okay, let's listen to a boy, Nestor. How often do you check email at work, Nestor? Every day. Sorry? I check every day. Ah, you check email every day. And how often do you attend meetings, Nestor? Never. Never. <laughs> You never, you never attend meetings. No, okay, thank you very much. So you are, you are the boss. 
tú eres el jefe, entonces you are the boss. No me toman en cuenta. Ajá. I don't think so. Creo que es que no le gusta ir, quizá. It's a joke, es una broma, it's a joke. Ok, so let's listen to Sarai. Sarai, how often do you check email at work? Every day. Good. And how often do you attend meetings? Once day a week. Once a week. Once. Once a week. Repeat it, please. Once a week. Once a week. Thank you very much, Hazel. Glory Bell. How often do you check email at work, Glory Bell? I check my email at every day. Every day. And how often do you attend meetings? Uh, twice a week. Twice a week. Okay. Thank you very much, Glory Bell. Glory Bell, elige alguien le preguntas. Choose someone and you ask, please. Uh, Oscar Arnulfo. Okay. Ask him. How often do you check your email at work? I check email in my work every day, many times, every hour, hours. <laughs> How often do you attend meetings? Attend two or three times a the week. Okay, thank you. Oscar, select someone, please. Okay, Ana Beatriz. Okay. How often do you check your email at the work? I check always. Okay, thank you. How often do you attend meeting? Every day. Oh my God, every day. Thank you. All right, let's see Ana Beatriz. Select someone, please. Elija alguien. Select someone, please. Uh, Maria Elena. Okay. How often do you check your email at work? It's me. Excuse yes. me. Yes. <laughs> I check email many times a day. Okay. How often do you attend the meeting? Three times in the week. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank Maria you. Elena, select someone, please. Hi. Um, Ana Abigail. Okay. How often do you check your email at I check my email always. And how often do you meet him? Once a week. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Okay, attend meetings, Maria Elena. How often do you attend meetings? Attend, attend meetings, okay. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you for your, uh, for answering and asking the questions. Very good. So we will take a two minutes break. Vamos a tomar un pequeño receso de dos minutos. Two minutes, right? Two minutes, two minutes, all right? In two minutes, I start. And two minutes, inicio, okay? So let's go to the break. Vamos a receso de dos minutos. Two minutes.
Ok, time is over. Se acabó el tiempo. Time is over. So let's carry on. Continuamos entonces. Let's carry on. Ok, look. Uh, in the following part, we have one conversation. Ok. So in this part, we have one conversation. And uh, by the way, I didn't give you the unit. The unit for this week is ongoing activities at the workplace. Unit number two, ongoing activities at the workplace or activities that happen at the workplace. Actividades que pasan o que suceden continuamente en su lugar de trabajo. Ongoing activities at the workplace, okay? So let's, let's see the conversation. And here we have this conversation. Okay, I want you to see the conversation. So the conversation we have is this. Okay? Oh my God. The conversation we have is this. Okay, so in this conversation, we have the use of how often, okay? How often. So please listen to the conversation carefully. Just listen and follow the reading. Solo escuchen y sigan la lectura. Just listen and follow the, the reading, please. Okay? Very good. Let's go ahead. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday. But I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, listen again and follow the reading. Escuchen una vez más y sigan la lectura. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a, week, once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes. I always, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact, contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, let's do it one more time, but this time repeat. Esta vez vamos a repetir, let's repeat but with the microphone off, as always, okay? Siempre con el micrófono apagado, with the microphone off. Okay, ready? Listos? Mm, so just let me see something here. Solo déjenme ver algo aquí rápidamente. Please turn cameras on. Enciendan sus cámaras. Turn your cameras on, please. Okay, let's repeat. How often do you check your email? How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday. I often call them once a week on Monday. But I usually call them on Friday to check their order. But I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Do you call clients? Yes. 
I always call them, aquí hay un pequeño error, ok? Um, I always call them first thing in the morning, ok? Podría ser tal vez, aquí hay un error en la conversación para que, para que, para que estemos conscientes, ok? Podría ser tal vez, um, the first thing I do is to call them in the morning. Podría ser, o solo digamos, I always call them in the morning y omitamos ese first thing porque eso no tiene sentido. Ahí ese first, first thing que está aquí. Esto. Si quieren omitamos eso, let's omit that. So it makes sense para que tenga sentido la conversación. Ok, let's do it again. Repitamos entonces. Let's repeat. Yes, I always call them in the morning. Yes, I always call them in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. You are right. Okay, so uh, this conversation, this conversation is, um, let me see here. This conversation is on page uh, 19, okay? This conversation is on page 19. La conversación está en la página 19. It's on page 19 in case you have the photocopy, in caso que tengan la fotocopia, okay? It's on page 19. Okay, so do you have it at hand? ¿La tienen a mano todos la conversación? Ahorita? Do you have it at hand? ¿La tienen a mano? Yes? Yes. Yes, okay, perfect. Yes. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Jacqueline Gloriwell. How often do you check email? Your email. Every you two hours. Yeah, continue. Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check the order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, Jacqueline, elige a dos personas. Choose two classmates, please. Elige a dos compañeros. Choose two classmates, please. A boy and a girl. Un chico y una chica. A boy and a girl. Loida and Nelson. Okay, so Loida and Nelson. Okay. okay. So Nelson starts. Uh, oh, Nelson, sorry. Loida, Loida starts. Loida inicia. Yes. Loida starts. Loida, you start. Okay. 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 Uh, how often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often try call it 10 times a week on Monday, but I try to take 10 on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always, always call them in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's see Loida. Select two partners, please. Select two classmates. Mm -hmm. a, a boy, a boy a and a girl. Green. Abigail and a boy, a boy. Y... 
And um, Mauricio. And Carlos. No, okay. <laughs> Abigail and Mauricio. All right. <laughs> Mauricio starts. Mauricio inicia. Mauricio starts. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check things as often as I can. Um, how often do you call your clients? I often call the once a week on Friday, but I usually call them on Friday to check the order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them them in the morning. I believe it's important to have contact with them all the time. You are, you are right. Oh, thank you. That's excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, Mauricio, can, can you select two classmates? A boy and a girl. Select two classmates. Mm. Roxana and Edgar. Okay, perfect. Oh, Edgar, uh, yeah, yeah, it's okay. So, Roxana starts. Roxana inicia. Roxana starts. Okay. How often do you check your emails, Edgar? Every two hours. Two, two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call in winking on Monday, but I usually go on Friday to check where order do you call the clients. Yes, I always call them in the morning. I believe it's important to have contact with them all the time. You are, all right. Okay, thank you very much. That's excellent. All right, thank you, Edgar. And thank you, Roxana. Edgar, can you choose two partners, please? One boy and one girl. Um, uh, one. And Jocelyn. Jocelyn and? Juan Carlos. And Juan Carlos, all right. Very good, thank you very much. Okay. Hi, Jocelyn. Okay, Juan Carlos, ¿quién inicia? <laughs> Ladies first. Oh, qué caballeroso. What, what a gentleman. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, how, how often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it's as often as I can. Um, how often do you call your client? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, anyway, I agree. Call them in the morning. I Believe it. Believe, believe it. It's important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Thank you very much. Okay. So, oh, that's excellent. Thank you very much, Juan Carlos and company. Thank you, and Jocelyn. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, listen. The idea in this moment was to do it without practicing. La idea en este momento fue que lo hicieran seguir a practicar esa vez without practicing, ¿ok? And I feel you need the practice. Creo que sí se necesita la práctica antes de presentar, right? You need the practice before presenting, ¿ok? So thank you for uh, presenting the conversation. Two questions right now. Just remember the conversation. Remember the information inside the conversation. Recuerden la información dentro de la conversación. And I have two questions. Question number one is, how often, how often does Anne check her email? 
Every two hours. Every two hours. So thank you, Maria Elena. Thank you very much. Every two hours. Okay. Next question. Siguiente pregunta. Next question. The next question is, uh, why is it important to check email every day? According to the conversation, de acuerdo a la conversación, why is it important to check email every day? Why? To have contact, to have contact with the clients. Oh, thank you, Jorge. So it is important to have contact with the clients. Very good. So that's why it is important to check email every day. Good. Thank you very much. Now, listen. Uh, for the next part, I want you to be very focused. Para la siguiente parte, sí quiero que estén bien, bien enfocados. I want you to be very, very focused, okay? So we normally ask questions using how often in the simple, in the simple present, okay? How often do you check email? How often do you go to work at seven? How often do you check merchandise? How often do you, tell me a verb, Bien, complete la pregunta, how often do you, what? Complete the question, please, with any verb, con cualquier verbo, how often do you, help me please. Review. Review, how often do you review the reports? How often do you, complete the question. Attend a meeting. Uh, a meeting. Attend, attend meetings, how often do you attend meetings? How often do you, yes in the work okay do your rest at work how often do you rest at work very good how yeah. often do you complete the question how write often a, do you write, write a report okay how often do you write a report how often do you write call the clients call clients write what call a letter Write a letter. How often do you write a letter? How often do you call your clients? How often do you? Sleep. Sleep. Sorry? How often do you? Jacqueline, we don't hear you. Oh. Sleep. 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 Sleep, says Jacqueline. How often do you sleep? Sleep. For me? Sleep. Yeah, sleep. Sleep. Yeah, it's okay. How often do you sleep? How often do you continue, please? Sleep. Complete the question. Go sleep. to room, go to work. How often do you organize meetings? Organize meetings. How often do you organize meetings? How often do you have breakfast? Alguien dijo por ahí have breakfast. How often do you have breakfast? How often do you have oh, visit clients? Visit clients. Very good. How often do you be cook? Cook. Oh my God. How often do you cook? Very good. Now listen. Um, when you ask questions with how often, cuando hacemos preguntas con how often, siempre agregamos el do you. O si me voy a referir a alguien, does he. How often does he check email? A un chico. Cuando me refiero a una chica, how often does she check email? How often does Jacqueline check email? How often does Mauricio visit clients? Does, okay? How often do we, nosotros, how often do we have an English class? How often uh, do they attend meetings, okay? Do they, yeah? So that's the structure. Esa es la estructura más o menos. That's the structure. But now, how do you answer? ¿Cómo se responde? How do you answer? How do you answer? Sorry? Yes. Always. They usually, do. Always. Never. Never. Usually. Usually good. Some, sometimes. 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 So we have different ways. Tenemos diferentes formas. We have different ways. For example, we have this one. Tenemos esta. It depends on the frequency, right? Depende de la frecuencia con que lo hacemos. Si es el 100%, you say always. Example. I always get up at five o'clock, always, every day. What is always? ¿Qué es always? What is always? Siempre. Siempre. En lugar de posición, miren la posición. Miren la posición, look at the position. I always get up at five o'clock. Number two, el usually. 
usually has less frequency, ya tiene menos frecuencia. Usually, ya tiene un 90% de, de frecuencia. Example, he usually drives to work. He usually drives to work. Then we have normally, luego tenemos normally. Normally is 80% of probability or frequency. 80% de frecuencia. She normally checks her email. Often. 70%. Este tiene 70% de frecuencia. 70% of frequency. I often have breakfast at work. Sometimes. Este ya va llegando al 50%. Dos veces a la semana, tal vez. Twice a week. Okay. She sometimes uses the microwave. Tal vez una vez o dos veces a la semana, right? Occasionally. What is occasionally? ¿Qué es occasionally? Ocasionalmente. Ocasionalmente, exactly. Example, I occasionally work overtime. What is overtime? ¿Qué es overtime? ¿Qué es el overtime? Tiempo libre. Terminar. Después de las horas laborales. Exactly. It's extra, hour, extra hours. Horas extra. Overtime is horas extra. Overtime. Okay? Overtime. Exactly. I occasionally work over, overtime. Horas extra. Overtime. Good. 10%. Seldom, casi nunca ya. Yeah. We seldom take calls at work. Ya yeah, llegando casi al never. Hardly ever or seldom. rarely. Seldom. Seldom. Dicho seldom, ¿qué quiere decir? Casi nunca. Casi nunca. Casi nunca. Then hardly casi ever nunca. and rarely. Raramente, right? He rarely has conferences. He rarely has conferences. Y la última que no tiene nada de frecuencia, never. I never get late to work. Nunca llego tarde al trabajo. I never get late to work. Very good. Now let's pronounce the adverbs. Pronunciamos, pronunciamos solo los adverbios. Always. 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 Usually. Usually. Usually, normally, 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 often, often, often. La letra T no suena, often, often, sometimes, sometimes, occasionally, occasionally. Occasionally, seldom, seldom, hardly ever, hardly ever, rarely, 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 never. Hagámoslo otra vez, always, usually. Normally, often, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, rarely, never. Okay, now check the examples. Revisen los ejemplos. Check the examples, please. Check the examples. What is, the what is the position of the adverbs? ¿Cuál es la posición de los adverbios? What is the position of the adverbs? Next to the subject. Next to the subject or the pronoun. Después del sujeto o el pronombre. Next to the subject. Here, look. Next to the subject. A la parte del sujeto o el pronombre. Next to the, to the subject. All right, very good. Next to the subject. Excellent, that's very good. En el caso de sometimes... In the case of sometimes, algunas veces puede ser usado al final. Okay, you can use it at the end. So you can say, podrían decir, she uses the microwave, the microwave sometimes. Or sometimes she uses the microwave. Okay, es común verlo al final, sometimes. Yeah, 
He's the only one, es el único. Very good. So do you have any question about this? Do you have any question about that? ¿Alguna pregunta acerca de eso? Any question about that? No? Any question? So basically, you have to pay attention to the percentages of frequency, okay? Básicamente deben poner atención a los porcentajes de frecuencia. To the percentages of frequency, okay? So you can say, the, uh, I mean, you can use them according to the frequency in your life. Pueden usarlos de acuerdo a la frecuencia con que pasan en su vida o en sus actividades, okay? Yeah? Very good. Now, look, to continue with, para continuar entonces, si no hay preguntas, if we have no questions, look, on page, let me see here. On page 20, you have one activity. En la página 20, on page 20, you have activity four. Tienen la actividad número cuatro. You have activity number four. What will you do? ¿Qué van a hacer? Complete a list of your activities you do on a regular week. Okay? Then write the activities next to the word that best describes how often you do those activities. So you need to write one example using always about you, about your activities, acerca de sus actividades. One using often, one using sometimes, one using hardly ever, and one using never. For example, about me, I can say always. I always go to work from Monday to Friday. I always go to work from Monday to Friday, often. I often check email, sometimes. Um, I sometimes have meetings with the principal. Hardly ever. I hardly ever write reports. For example, I hardly ever write reports. And finally, never. I never play soccer at school. I never play soccer at school. So you need to write five activities. Deben escribir cinco actividades reales, con información real, real information, using always, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. Si tienen la copia, pueden hacerlo en su folletito. Si no la tienen, lo hacen en su cuaderno, ¿ok? It's on page 20, está en la página 20, it's on page 20, ¿ok? Let's work, trabajemos, let's work.
Did you finish forehand? To take advantage of time, I will pass you the attendance, okay? Para tomar ventaja del tiempo, les pasará asistencia mientras están trabajando, while you are working, okay? So, Ana Abigail? I'm here. Good. Ana Beatriz? Present. Carlos David? Present. All right. Edgar Alexander? I'm here. Good. Ember? I'm here. Hey, so Sarai. Jacqueline said. I'm here. Jessica. I'm here. Jorge Eduardo. I'm here. Juan Carlos. I'm here. Eunice. I'm Eunice. here. Okay, thank you. Elena. Maria Elena? I no puedo. I am here. All right, thank you. Mauricio Antonio? Nelson. Good. Nelson? Nelson? Present. All right. I'm here. Nestor? Okay, I'm here. Nestor? I'm here. Oscar? Present. Roxana? I hear. Wendy Natalie? I'm here, teacher. Wendy Natalie, is that? Yes? I'm here. All right, thank you, Natalie. Jacqueline Gloribel? Present. Jo Jocelyn Joana? I'm here. And Jesenia Marisol? Present. All right, thank you very much. That's very good. Thank you. Okay, please put the hand up if you finish. Vayan poniendo la manita cuando terminen. Put the hand up when you finish, please. Okay, the majority finished. La mayoría terminaron. The majority finished. Okay, listen. Um, in the, right now, in the, or in this moment, we will go to breakout rooms for 10 minutes. Okay? And in the breakout room, you will take turns saying your sentences. I am repeating. You will take turns saying the sentences, okay? Cuando todos terminen, when everybody finishes, cuando todos terminen, van a volver otra vez con el que empezó. You will come back with the one who started, okay? But, pero el que empezó esta vez va a hablar, va a decir tres oraciones de otro compañero about a different classmate, okay? For example, imagine I start. Imagínense que yo empiezo and I say, I always check email in the morning. I never play soccer. And then everybody finished. Y luego, luego ya todos terminamos, ¿ok? Ya todos lo dijeron. Luego, then, Oscar Arnulfo will say sentences about me. Dirá las oraciones acerca de mí. Then he will say, Bernardo always checks email in the morning. Bernardo never plays soccer at school, all right? Yeah, so the idea is that you share two or three examples about your classmates. La idea es que compartan dos o tres ejemplos acerca de ese compañero, okay? Y toman turnos en el equipo, take turns in the team, yeah? Is it clear? Está claro que van a hacer? Is it clear what you have to do? Yeah? Okay, let's see, uh, let's see if it's clear. Vamos a ver si está claro. Eh, Jocelyn, ¿no puede repetir la instrucción in Spanish? No problem. 
I don't know, teacher. You don't know. Uh -huh. You're not paying attention. No puse atención. Edgar. Edgar, ¿nos puedes repetir la instrucción? Can you repeat the instruction, please, in Spanish? En español no hay problema. Ok. Este, que en el grupo vamos a decir las, las oraciones que nosotros tenemos, pero uh, después vamos a decir... Dos o tres, creo, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. No espero de un compañero, no de nosotros. De un compañero, ya no de ustedes. Ese es el second round, el segundo round. That's the second round, ¿ok? Just don't forget, que no se les olvide. Usamos tercera persona, le ponemos ese al verbo. Bernardo checks. Néstor plays. David supervises. Yes, don't forget the yes in the verb. Que no se les olvide esa es en el al verbo cuando estén reportando acerca de ese compañero o esa compañera, ¿ok? So let's go. Let's take around eight minutes. Tomemos alrededor de ocho minutos, ¿ok? So let's go and practice. Vamos a practicar. Let's go and practice. Repeat. I always check email, prepare, prepare route, and answer phone, phone call. I often take my lunch 12 o'clock. Y no sé si estaría bien es decir, let's go home at five o'clock, teacher. Can you repeat it, please? Can you repeat it? I often take my lunch at 12 o'clock and let ho let's go home at five o'clock. Me dicen que at 12 o'clock and I go, and I go home. Permit. And I go home. Voy a casa. And I go home. Eh? At 5 o'clock. At... Uh -huh. I go home at. And then you say the time. Luego dice, dice la hora. Okay. Thank you. I sometimes at work in home. I hardly ever wake up late and I never arrive late at work. No sé quién sería después. Vaya, las mías son I always make invoice. Make. Make invoice. Vaya. Finch. Le voy a leer yo. Bueno. ¿Quién? Ah, ok. Sí, okay. usted, Roxana. Yo voy a go to the world at 6 o'clock. I always go to the work at 6 o'clock. I often check the emails in reports. Sorry, repeat. 
Hay off, often, off, offling, offling. ¿Cómo es? Often. Of, often. I often check the emails and reports. I sometimes attend a client. I sometimes attend a client. I hardly ever go to the beach. Repeat I number never, four. I hardly ever go to the beach. I never work on Sunday. Repeat um, five. What? Um, five. I never. I never work on Sunday. Next. Okay, Jorge. <clears throat> I always take a breakfast at the at seven a.m. I often cooking in Sunday. Repeat um, number one, please. <laughs> I <day>. always <laughs> I always take a breakfast at 7 a.m. Always think in the client. Think. Think, sí. De pensar. Ah. Mm -hmm. Think. El otro es drink, ah. pero no. Es think. Sí. Think. 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 Um, think. Pero por ser he... Can you repeat example? David, can you repeat that example, please? Sorry, sorry for the interruption. Can you repeat example? I always think in the client. Okay, you better say about. About this. About, think about my clients. I always think about my clients. Ah, okay, about my client. Exactly. My, process it. Pronoun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my, the possessive pronoun. That's right. I always think about my client. Yeah. Es, esa no estoy muy seguro, pero hay, está algo extraño. Ahí usted me dice si está bien. Go ahead. Okay. I often feel suspicious of my boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I often feel suspicious of my boss. You, you, you better say about, about my boss. The same preposition. Entonces sería? About, I, I often about? feel suspicious about my boss. Yeah, okay, about my boss. Okay, nah. eso sería. Si es que, vea, extraño. De ahí este, la otra sería, I sometimes play soccer with my coworker. I sometimes play soccer with my coworker. Hmm. Uh -huh. That would be in plural, coworkers. Coworkers, sí. Coworkers. 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 With my yes. coworkers. Uh -huh. I hardly ever watch Facebook in my desk. Uh -huh. I, hardly, I hardly ever Watch Facebook in my desk. Watch for check. <laughs> Watch for check. Mm, well, check. check. Well, check. check. Yeah, you say check. Check. Okay, check. check. Mm -hmm. Sí, que no, no, casi no, no me queda chance. <clears throat> El otro. In your, 
¿Dónde? Desk. El escritorio. On my desk. On. Yes. On my desk. Y el último. I, I never have money in my job. I never have money in my job. <laughs> <laughs> Físico, ¿verdad? O sea, yeah. físico. Uh -huh. Here's the game. Mm -hmm. I never have money in my job. Okay. Pero ahí sería, he never have money in your job. In his, in his job. Su de él, his. His, his job. Your, uh, he never has money in his job. Cuando reporte, when you report, cuando hablen acerca de David, you say, he his, never, he job. never has money in his, his job. Okay. 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 Este, I always do. I always go to work every morning. Otra vez. I always go to work every morning. Every morning. Every morning. Sí. Okay, I often go to work working. Repita la por I often no llega. Está cerca, está cerca, está cerca. 40, 45 minutos. Ah, el aeropuerto. Ajá. <laughs> Okay. Y quiero ver quién era. Algo, always. Ya viene el teacher, ya viene no. el teacher, practiquemos. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> practice, practice. <laughs> okay, well, all right, continue then. Este, Oscar always attends meeting Friday 2 p.m. Often present, he often presents sketch of report. Sketch of report. Um, uh, he sometimes drinks cappuccino coffee. He early never take a bus. Uh, never. Why? No, it's he here. Sí. He, early, sí. he early never takes a bus uh, go to work. He has money. He has a car. He has money. <laughs> he has a car. It's a motorcycle. Ah, <laughs> let's see, right? Ah. <laughs> uh, he never <laughs> he never go to sleep eight o'clock. <laughs> Seven o'clock. <laughs> Seven o'clock. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I feel guilty. <laughs> Me siento culpable ahorita. I feel guilty right now. <laughs> Par, parte la tiene, de verdad. <laughs> yeah, I see. Ya veo, I see. <laughs> okay. Vamos a ver. Okay. Eh... Sí. Vaya María Elena, she of gone to work. Solo le puedo, le voy a hacer una, una, una sugerencia. Sería, yes. I always have, el have, el verbo. Breakfast. breakfast, desayunar. Breakfast mm -hmm. before no, you go to work. Ser. Antes de ir atrás. Y el have donde lo do cur. I always have breakfast before go to work. Mm -hmm. 
Por okay. ok. Vamos con la siguiente. I often visit family. I often visit family. <coughs> okay. The other one? Okay, la otra es I son I I time Larry for borrow. I sometimes learn for guru. La siguiente, I not, I hardly have with report. Hardly ever. Y la última. Ever, no. Ah, forever, great, great, report. Great, report. Hey, buenas noches. <laughs> good evening. Oh good night. Yeah, good night. Good night. All right, everyone. I think you didn't finish, right? Creo que son poco lo que hicieron around de, de, de compartir. Hey, I was in the group. Creo que solo el grupo de Juan Carlos lo estaba haciendo, si no me equivoco. Los demás no hicieron en la parte de compartir. No, right? Ok. So, have the sentences ready. Tengan las oraciones listas que mañana van a compartir. You will share tomorrow. Ok. You will say, for example, Glory Bell always has or attends meetings on Monday, for example. So, you will report tomorrow. Mañana van a. Compartir, así que tengan las oraciones listas. Have the sentences ready, ¿ok? Please, por favor. Ok, everybody. So, um, it's time to, 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 it's time to finish. So, please, I beg you, again, do the platform work. Vayan haciendo el trabajo de la plataforma. Do the platform work, please, ¿ok? Please. Ok, so, thank you for connecting and good night. Bye. 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 Okay, Mr. Sarai, let's wait for Mr. Gabarrete to leave the room. Mr. Gabarrete, creo que se tiene que, que desconectar el audio positivo. <laughs> That's why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Jason. Okay, so, so um, welcome to this private session. Bienvenida a esta sesión. Welcome to this session. So, you know, this session is for you, right? To clarify any doubts, to ask any question about pronunciation, grammar, anything you want to know about. Para que preguntes algo de lo que tenga dudas, que no te quedó claro, so you can ask me this moment, okay? Pues por el momento solo la traducción de open. De open, ese open. Oh my God. Open. ¿Qué significa open? Open significa a menudo. A menudo. But maybe what, what you have to pay attention to is the frequency. Tal vez lo que hay que poner más atención es a la frecuencia con que cada uno de ellos sucede. Ok? That, that's, that's important. Eso es importante. That's important. Okay. So, I don't know if we have any other questions. No. No more questions, oh my God. I like that. Oh, me, gusta, me gusta y no me gusta. I like it and I don't like it. Me gusta porque sé que todo está claro. And I don't like it because you don't have any questions. No, but it's okay, no problem. Algo de lo que quieras saber, aunque no te incluido en la clase respecto al idioma, puedes consultar. You can ask. Okay. 
Pero si no hay nada, no hay problema tampoco. There is no problem. Por el momento, quizás no. Todo está claro. Everything is crystal clear. Todo está claro como el cristal. Sí. Ok, no problem. No hay problema. There is no problem. Sí, porque no encuentro dudas dentro de mis apuntes. Ok, ok, no hay problema, eso. There is no problem. You can go to sleep if you want. <laughs> <laughs> ok, good night. Ok, good night. Take care. See you tomorrow. Thanks. Ok. Muy bien, en esta parte solo quiero compartirles un poquito más acerca del, del presente simple, eh, hacer un pequeño repaso, ¿verdad? Por, por si aún no está muy claro. Eh, bueno, el, el presente simple tiene tres formas, tiene uh, affirmative, tiene negative, así como los demás tiempos verbales, Negative, and it has, y tiene también questions, right? Preguntas, questions and answers. Y aquí van inmersa la, la respuesta, perdón. Questions and answers. So, in affirmative, tal vez algo que hay que recalcar que necesitan es al menos que en la tercera persona, in the third person, los verbos llevan S o ES, ok? In negative, usamos el don't, para el negativo usamos el don y usamos el, el doesn't. Okay, usamos el don y usamos el dasen. En preguntas usamos el do y usamos el, el das. Okay, so that's important. So this is very important about the present simple. Eso es muy importante acerca del presente simple. That's very important about the present simple. So let's see it in context. Veámoslo en contexto. Affirmative. Veamos el positivo. Let's see the affirmative. Okay, for example, you can say, um, I. I work every day. But when you use he or she, the verb has s. El verbo yo es, el the verb has s. For example, you say um, he or she works with s in the verb, and then you say every day. So this is. Um, This is affirmative. Esto es afirmativo. This is affirmative, ¿ok? So you put S. Le ponemos S al verbo o S. Depende de la regla que hemos estudiado. And then, luego, and then, we have the, the negative, right? The negative form. You can say, for example, um, I don't, I don't um, check, I don't check email. I don't check email. You can say every day if you want, okay? I don't check email. But but what happens when you have he or he? You don't say don't. You say doesn't. Okay? Doesn't. So you say she doesn't check email, for example. She doesn't check email every day. So this is negative. So repeating. For the negative, you use doesn't. She doesn't check email or he doesn't check email, right? So don't is for I, you, we, they. I don't check, they don't check, we don't check. And well, the other one is you don't check, okay? She, she doesn't check, he doesn't check, he doesn't check, all right? This is for the third person. Doesn't is for the third person. Very good. And now let's see the questions. Veamos las preguntas. Let's see the questions, okay? So in the questions, these are the, the questions or question form. Um, you can say, for example, for example, uh, do you, or do you check, or do you check email again? Do you check email 
Then you say on Monday, for example. All right. And then um, for he and she, you can say does, for example. All right. Does. Does he or does she again, third person? Does he or does she? Okay. Does he or does she check email on Monday, for example? So you say does. So just uh, reviewing, repasando. Do. You say, do you check email? Do we check email? Do they check email? And do I check email? Does. Does he she check email? Does she check email? And does it, right? And then you answer with the auxiliary. You. Veo contestan con el auxiliar en uso. For example, do you check email? Yes, I do. Does he check email? Yes, he does. Do you check email? No, I don't. Does he check email? No, he doesn't. Okay, very good. So this is all about the simple present. Esto es de lo que así es más o menos el uso del presente simple. That's the use of the simple present. All forms, okay? What la forma que tiene? Uh, positive, negative, and Questions, okay? And, question, and in the questions, we have the answers too, okay? So, um, thank you very much. I hope this is helpful, okay? Gracias por todo. Y espero que esto sea de mucha ayuda. Okay, goodbye.